Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Deck, and I've got an idea for how to create a top using Tinkercad code blocks. So let's get cracking. Friends, I've been making tops in Tinkercad for a long time. I love printing them upwards, so the point is the last thing that prints. That way it can be frugal and you don't waste much plastic. They also print pretty quick, and then my goal is to always get one that spins for 60 seconds or more. So this is going to be a base design, and then you can use these techniques to see if you can find the perfect one. Step one, of course, is to hit Create New Code Block. We're going to choose New Design. Let's start by clicking Modify and choosing Create New Object. And we need to rename it Top. And then up at the very top of the project, let's put Top and put our initials and put V1 after it. Because there's a chance you're going to make many of these while you try and find the perfect one. Friends, we're going to build our top with a shape called the cone. When you bring out your cone, we need to change the parameters. I'm going to tell you that the top radius is going to be 4. And I'm going to tell you the bottom radius is going to be 3.5, which will be 7 millimeters. We're going to make the height 30. And we're going to make the sides 64, even though I'm not sure it'll really go that round. When we hit play, you will see our design shows up right here. Tinkercad always draws from 0, 0 all the way around itself, so we need to raise it up half that height. To do that, we go to Modify, and we're going to choose Move, and half of 30 is 15. Raising it up is Z. Now when you hit play, your spindle for your top is at 0, 0. Now we're going to add the piece right here. Remember, this is 30 high, so check this out. We're going to bring out a cone. So friends, I'm going to make this one a different color just because it looks cool when you watch it happen. And I'm going to tell you that this bottom radius needs to match the old top radius. And then I want the new top radius to be some number between 15 and 25. I'm going to just use 15. You may use it as well. I'm going to tell you that I want the height to only be 15. And I'm still going to do 64 on the sides. And when we hit play, you can see that we have got the spindle, and now we've got the part that's going to sit on top. I'm going to change this from 15 high to 10 high, because I want it to be a little shorter, and I'm going to switch that to 20. I'm going to tell you that I'll allow you to go all the way out to 30 as you play with this number. We also need to raise this up, so let's go back to modify and hit move and we need to raise it all the way to the top of this line. Let's see if 30 works the way it should. When we hit play, you can see it drew part of the way up. We need to also add half of the height. So half of 10 is 5. So let's change that to 35 and watch it go all the way to the top of that shape. When we hit play, that's what I'm shooting for. Friends, it's time to add the point to our top. And we're going to do that by bringing out another cone. And once again, we are going to open its parameters. We are going to let this top go to zero so it is a point. And I'm going to tell you the bottom radius is going to be 5. I'm going to tell you I want the height to only be 10. And I'm going to still say 64 on the sides. I'm going to hit play, and it'll show up at the bottom. Real quickly, let's hit play, and you can see that it shows up underneath. Remember, this 10 is going to be handy. We need to raise it up 35 plus 5, so let's raise it up 40. When we hit modify, we need to find move. Let's type in our 40 and make sure it lands where we expect it to. That's not high enough. And it's because I had to do 35 plus 10 is 45. And then I had to add half of this. So I needed to type 50. It's a good thing to always double check your math as you're building these. If you go too high like I just did, then just back it up till it fits. Let's try 45. And once again, hit play. That is what I was aiming for. So my friends, this is the base top. 
I do not know exactly how it's going to spin, but I've used this technique so I know that it is 3D printable and it's going to turn out okay. Depending on how well you got your printer calibrated, it may turn out awesome. Depending on the amount of fill you use when you 3D print it, that changes the weight, which changes how it spins as well. When you've got your design, remember I'll let you go all the way up to 40 on this, you can change the heights a little. So as you're playing with these numbers, I'll let you modify them. Just make sure you stay with that 40 radius. And if your Z gets above 55, then I'm going to be questioning it. But you can always talk to me and maybe come up with something that I say, sure, let's try it. If you have completed yours, you can hit export. And we need an STL. That's what we 3D print with. Remember, in my classroom, you need to slide up to your quick access, put it in the STL folder, make sure it has your name. And then if you have a dream color, you can type it out here. If I have the color, I'll try and get it printed there. Of course, there's no guarantee I'll have that color available, but if I do, I'll try and get it used. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna get this one printed and we'll do a quick test to see how it turns out. Alrighty friends, so we're over here at the MakerBot Replicator Plus. You can see I was able to print it here without any raft. On my normal printers, I do use raft. And this one I printed on the MakerBot Replicator. You can see the calibration of the printer makes a difference. The Plus, it's more smooth. The Replicator, it's not. This is where you can change your settings and find out just what is the best way to print it. And of course, this is where you can also start modding to make yours cool. Let me take you right now over to the test track. All right, friends, so remember the goal is to get one to spin for 60 seconds or more. The rules are you cannot have any assisted launches. At least if you want to have the record, if you want to test other techniques, you may. But for the record, you can't have any assisted launches. This is a laser cut test track that it has to stay in. Remember, that is the Replicator Plus, and you can see it is spinning quite well. This one just knocked out the other one, so you could make it a game to see which of the two people lasted longest. But regardless, as you can see, the tops do spin, and we are on our way to making one that can spin the full 60 seconds. I will tell you from experience, learning how to get them to spin the right way is a skill. Just make sure you're patient and keep practicing as you have fun with your tops. Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Super cool tops created with code and lots of options for you to make yours more incredible. That track is laser cut, so I will put that design on Thingiverse and I'll add it in the description. Of course, friends, if you make something awesome, please take a picture and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Lastly, if you have any questions, you can also reach out via the HLModTech.com website. There is a messaging button you can click and share at will. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.